guys welcome back to another video so in one of my older videos i had two people asking me to do the best key mappings for pubg mobile emulator and i thought this was great because the default uh, key maps for the pubg mobile emulator is not that great and i feel like to play uh, best in emulator you need to map your keys so this will be my guide for the best key mappings for pubg mobile emulator so before we get started i would suggest you to have a mouse which has programmable buttons and this doesn't mean it has to be an expensive mouse. For example, if you go to uh, sites like Amazon, for example, uh, you have, and if you go to a brand called Cosmic Byte or Red Gear, they have uh, these cheap mouses with the where uh, uh, they have programmable buttons and they are actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, for the price, I mean, this is the mouse I have personally, and this is the one I'm even using right now, as you can see here. These, this mouse is like, uh, the best dime for the buck. It's only 688 and in offers it goes below as like 499. It has uh, two programmable buttons but it can actually be done with up to six through software. Where, and I'll tell you how you should do about, go about it. So and I feel like this is the best mouse and if you are uh, very serious about PUBG Mobile Emulator you definitely have to invest in some mouses like this. And in fact gaming, because any game I play I do map my keys so this is like a gaming essential. You need a mouse which has some programmable buttons. And I'll also put the don't worry, I'll also be giving you tips uh, for mouses which don't have programmable buttons also. So to begin with, first you need obviously you need to go to the emulator. So um, to, for mapping keys you need to click here, uh, key mappings, and and these what you're seeing here are the default uh, key maps. So I feel like the best key maps uh, for a mouse which has programmable buttons, at least one or two, near the thumb grips like here is one with uh, instead of one you play you instead of one you press uh, this one the top mouse button where your thumb is going there and the second one for the second gun here so i feel like uh, once you do that just click save i'm sorry so once you do that, you click save and you notice how the thing works so if i press the stop button here the fun gun comes out you press the second one second gun comes out so you see how fast you can change your guns. I don't know if it's out of focus in good. See, if you press the first one, the first gun comes out. Second one, the second gun comes out. Press again, the gun goes back in. This is how, uh, this is how it works and I feel like this is the best way to go about it. And uh, well, the second uh, tip, second key, best key mapping I would say is for the grenades. I feel so. In order to see, uh, so you know, so this is how it works for grenades. So you press key mapping, sorry, key mappings, and once you go here, you see number five, right? You click that and you set that to whatever key. So I personally find the best one uh, for me is here is like X for grenades, and I feel like X is the best. So if I press, so I get this for grenades, but if I were to press this now, I'll get the pan open. And this is how it works here also. If I press, as you guys can see here, if I press X, the pan comes out, pan goes in, pan comes out, pan goes in. So how do I bring the grenades out? It's simple. So the normal buttons is like four is for, uh, so normal buttons, as you see here, is four is for grenades. And I don't have uh, smokes right now, but five is for smokes and six is for mock tape. So what you do is, uh, uh, so you, it's like you're setting the, no, the normal preset for these things. For example, if you, whenever you press uh, X, you want the grenades to come out, then you press number four, then you keep it, keep back the grenade. So the grenade will always be down here. Okay. So now if you press X, you'll get the grenade out. And if you press X again, oh sorry, I fell down. It happens. So I press X again, again go back and X again, and X goes out. So that's how you do a map for grenades. Now, what if you don't have a mouse? from programmable buttons. What do you do then? How will you get your guns one and one and two out? I mean, that's the main thing, right? It's simple actually. So what you do is you again go back to your key mappings. And uh, here what you do is, uh, when you see your uh, gun one and gun two, you click it again and you actually scroll the mouse up for gun one. And the press number gun number two and scroll mouse down for, more, for the gun two. And you click save. So now watch what happens. So if I scroll the mouse up now, I get my first gun out. If I scroll back again, the gun goes back in. If I scroll down, my second gun comes out. If I scroll back in again, the second gun goes back in. 
So this is how uh, this is how to map your keys when you don't have uh, pro programmable buttons in your uh, uh, like in your mouse. And I feel like uh, this is good, but the problem with the Cosmic Byte uh, thing is it, it, it has like two modes. So the first mode has uh, three buttons and the second mode also you can use the uh, three buttons. So to change between the modes, you just need to hold the DPI button until the lights go. Now that I kept in the second mode, now the lights will go to bright changing color. So this is the second mode. And the second mode, I noticed that in PUBG Mobile, the second mode doesn't work. Because if I click the gun now and I click, see it doesn't work at all. Some, for some reason, keys don't get mapped in the second mode. It only, work, it only works in the first mode. I mean, the second mode, sorry. So that's the reason. And the problem with the second mode is that uh, every time you scroll, the volume goes up and down. That's the reason I don't use a scroll. Or else I would use a scroll for changing gun one and gun two. And I would keep uh, my other two for uh, most likely for my grenades. Now, this should be able to work with. Uh, uh, healables, but then I'm very comfortable using 0 for uh, boost and uh, 9 for bandages, 8 for uh, first aids and 7 for medkits. Uh, I'm more comfortable using that, but in case I don't like it, I can change it actually. So that also works the same way, so if I reset it, uh, if I press 7, uh, okay, so I don't think this one can be done, but normally, so I think you have to Get okay, custom button, click X. You need to move it here like this. Click save. I think that's how the only way to make it work. So if I press X now, I'll start taking in a boost. But then, what if I want a painkiller instead? So if I keep painkiller as default, yep, that's how you click default. And works basically anyway you go. So that's how you program buttons, guys. So this is, the, I feel like this will be the best. For me personally, I will feel like the main things which you should focus on for key mapping would be the gun one, gun two, and the grenades. Because I feel like rest all is okay. I mean, yeah, so I feel like the rest, everything is fine for me, uh, for me personally. Uh, once I kept my emote button to be a Z, a X, but then I feel like normal matches, I would use a X for my grenades. So I feel like this is the best key mappings for my game. And obviously you're not going to use your pistol. So if, unless, if, but if you're going for sniper training and you get bolt action only, that's the only time I'll map my X for my number three, which is my pistol, uh, because pistol is very important there. But rest of the games, I don't find pistol that will be that important. Um, uh, and for the uh, changing your gun modes, I am comfortable using B to do that. So I feel like this will be the best key mappings for playing the best in PUBG Mobile Emulator. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel and help me out. So that's it guys. Peace.